So now, both of these guys just said some pretty terrible shit that I have to cut out before we upload. Um, this is the type of shit that'll get us in trouble. Now, hi, everybody. Welcome to Grogging's first ever pre-recorded. So the way we're going to do this is this is kind of going to have a trial run as well. Members, you'll be getting this very, very, very soon. Uh, people who aren't members, you get it at the end of the week. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into some topics that we may have talked about on stream, may not have, and go into a bit more autistic detail. So that way it doesn't take up a whole stream. And the thing we're going to be starting with is X Defiant. Yes, we talked a little bit about it on stream, but one, we did not have cream there. And we kind of had to cut the conversation mm. sort of abruptly because we were running out of time with other shit we needed to get through. Yeah, But you know what? We just had the second stress test. I think this was like the fourth time we actually got to play the game. Yeah. And Creep, we haven't even heard your take on it yet. What did you think of this second 48-hour or 56-hour, whatever, public stress test of Ubisoft and Mark Rubin's X Defiant? Ooh, say, no, um, no longer Tom it. Clancy's. No longer mm -hmm. Tom Clancy's X to fight. Uh, so I didn't have the chance to play any of the previous ones, like especially the last one they did before this, uh, where they did it for 12 hours on a Thursday. No, dude, it was eight. It was eight hours. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry. Eight hours. It, yeah. it was eight. What type of fucking test goes for eight hours? <laughs> I was fucking <laughs> retarded. It was really retarded. Um, so this was my first chance playing the game. Uh, the movement feels good. Uh, the shooting is close. Um, I found a couple times where vibration on the controller would cut out. So you would just instinctively be like, what the fuck? I'm not shooting anymore. Yeah. Um, bullet registering, like registration, stuff like that was a little off. And I think that's because the net code issues they've been talking about. Like, we'll get into this, but man... I don't know how bad they were before, but it's not fixed. Whatever they did, they they have not fixed it. Sounds were fucking up. Couldn't even join friends. Um, sometimes you'd run around the corner and you'd just be dead all of a sudden. And it wasn't because of fire bullets. It wasn't because of lag, right? It was literally fucking. It was just net code, right? It was awful. Um, sound like footsteps sounded fucking way in front of people sometimes. Like you'd be walking and that you'd hear it like way in front. And there was so much problems. Like compared to what it was, this is a fucking masterpiece, dude. Especially yeah, that last it was one. so bad, the last mm -hmm. public test. This is a lot better, but I'm with Cream on this one. I think they still got far to go, but my biggest question of this was, what the fuck have they been doing for eight months? Yeah, that's, that's, this is the problem. Is I think what happened is, I think everyone that wasn't working on the netcode got put into like Far Cry 7 or something else because there is so little done, and it's just like, well, okay, if we're not getting search and destroy now at launch, which is mm -hmm. bullshit, because remember they said yeah. that in August, they said, Oh yeah, search and destroy will be coming a little bit later. By now they should have fucking search and destroy done. They should have probably some more maps kind of fucking ready to go as well. Um, there's so much shit where I'm just thinking, dude, did you be so fuck them over by putting the other members on other games? Because it just feels like if they were only working on net code, their whole studio doesn't just work on net code. You have your net code workers and then you've got your map makers, you've got your other people. So what the fuck were they doing this whole entire time? Um, so I'm thinking a big chunk of people got put on other games, which sucks ass. Because if anything that needs to be worked and given the full attention, it's this game. If anything, like this and Rainbow is their only... I've got to be honest, like they're, they're gold necks. You know, it's Rainbow carrying. and... Yep. Yeah, it, Rainbow and... Um, Fucking X Define are gonna be the ones that kind of get them out of trouble if if they can if it's even possible at this point you know well and if, if you remember when uh at one point I went through this their their uh what do you call it their shareholders report uh, their yeah. financials this is the X Defiant is the game coming out in Q two it didn't list like anything else it said like mm -hmm. oh late Q one we have Skull and Bone. Q2, we have X Defiant. So now you're basically, you've now delayed. Dude, it, it's such a big fuck up on so many levels, like financially. Like, if they miss another deadline, 
you're going to see Ubisoft have a lot of fucking problems financially because if you've built up in your stock reports that X Defiant is coming, X Defiant, and then you finally say he, it's coming out this quarter and we have no other big games coming out this quarter, and then all of a sudden it's it doesn't delayed. drop, Dude, it has to, it literally will have to come out. Dude, how many fucking, how many shareholders, right, are going to drop because they're sick and tired of it? Like, yeah, there's always going to be the hype of, oh, it's a new genre. It's kind of like COD. Oh, it's a COD competitor, right? Um, so there's always going to be a lot of people that are interested, especially shareholders. But, I mean, how many, like, as a, if I was a shareholder and I was told last August, oh, yeah, it's coming out pretty soon, I'd be pretty pissed by now. Like, you're putting in all this extra money because, you know, it's an investment, yeah. right? I, I could see them getting kind of fucking hissy. And usually that's what fucks over games is that the investors get pissy. But yet again... It's their it's the company's fault because they keep saying it's coming. You're, this yeah, you're coming. giving you're giving the shareholders a reason to be pissy, especially because when was yeah. this game announced? 2020? 2021? Yeah, it looked awful back then yeah. though. It looked garbage. Like I was roasting yeah. the fuck out of it. Um it but, like but it's, it's been announced it's it was announced then and ever since it's been missing deadlines. So I honestly they're right to be pissed. Uh, I yeah. I think this is a, it's, this isn't a case like Cyberpunk where no. the shareholders are really pushing for this. The, well, the majority shareholders, like the big ones, um, were really pushing for the game to come out in a state where it's not ready. This mm-hmm. is the game should be ready. Yeah. You, you, what excuse do you have other than you're not doing your job well at this point, right? It makes yep. you wonder if that insider gaming article might have been a bit more correct than a lot of people want to admit or even realize. But anyway, um, speaking of deadlines, we're going to put that to the side for now. Let's focus on the, the core gameplay itself. Moza, you've described this as you thought this is what Black Ops 4 should have been like. Dude, you know, it actually is. Like, if you just added, like, the Treyarch Classic maps and stuff, right, instead of the Ubisoft shit, this is how colorful, this is how the movement I thought, this is kind of how the abilities I thought would kind of work how um it how the healing would have worked because in black ops 4 you had this shitty system where you had to heal yourself right so you, there's no more heal regening right now the, uh, but yet again they had the same amount of health i think uh, some characters actually have a little less than in black ops 4 because you know how some characters have less health in next defiant so some characters don't have as much but in in black ops 4 you actually had more health though right but if they had done what x defiant does um where it regens it would have been fucking perfect this is how i imagined it um the but especially color, being the, more of a hero shooter as well yes the hero shooter i love hero shooters dude i think in my opinion like black ops 3 and black ops 4 right um that, i mean there's a lot that i really hate about black ops 4 but the part that they did get right was the abilities right the abilities were pretty good because it made it just it destroys campers so fucking much. And that's one thing I noticed in uh, Exifying is the campers just don't, almost don't exist because of the abilities, right? If I'm if I'm being fucking um, uh, bullied by a fucking camper, I can just shield and then move up. Whereas the abilities feel like, I feel like they're making everyone constantly move. And that's, that's what you want in a first person shooter, just constant fucking movement. But now the thing with that, though, is the bunny hopping and all that slide yeah. cancelling type of shit as well. So yeah. they did come yeah. out and say that at the full release of this game, the bunny hopping probably won't be as big of an issue because there's going to be yeah. some movement penalties to that. But they decided to turn it off for this beta test. I'm not too sure if I actually believe that because yeah. why would you turn that off? Why would you turn uh, that off when this is supposed to be a test? Wouldn't you want to test to make sure it works? Which yeah, makes no, me think they don't have it finished. They're they're got, realizing people are upset about it, like and it. now they're like, "Oh, okay, we'll yeah." Do that. But at the same at the same time, do you think they might have had it ready? Maybe not fully ready. I don't believe it. It's fully ready. But do you think they at least started something where it's like, okay, let's see if they like bunny hopping. So we'll do the test with bunny hopping. We'll see if they like the bunny hopping. If they don't like it, we'll remove it for full game. Do you think it was a case of that as well? I I don't know, but then. <sighs> I mean, how how long, it, dude? I I remember because when I was 2019 a kid, was beloved, quote unquote beloved. 
everyone says they love it. And that had bunny hopping. So do you think Mark looked at that and went, okay, well, we'll have a, we'll have an addition. But, but you also have to look at it if you're, if you're, you know, I, I get that, but you have to look at it and be like, well, why did people love it? It wasn't because of bunny hopping. That's not the reason why people love 2019, right? So it was, it was very movement. Movement was very much one of the big reasons why a lot of people. Yeah, but the it wasn't the like bunny. It. I think the bunny hop yeah. thing is a is probably the worst part of that movement. Um, and so if you can get that movement down without the bunny hopping, that's what people would really want. Yeah, that's what uh, they want, and it seems and like so they're listening so far. It, it, they are, I guess, now. But it's so this whole thing of like, there's a certain point where. You can ask the fans so many times of what they want, and mm. at some point it comes off less like you want fan engagement and more like you don't know what direction you're you supposed are... to go in, and you want the fans to just tell you how Feel to do game. your job, which is yeah. which is not uh, it's not good for anyone. It makes it makes the devs look bad. It makes Ubisoft themselves look bad as well. It, it just kind of cheapens fan engagement a little bit, in my opinion. Hmm. Um, no, yeah. that's fair. I agree with that to an extent. But my big problem with this is like, and this goes beyond X Defiant, but okay. So this game has no skill based matchmaking. And I believe I can notice that. I can yeah. definitely fucking notice that while playing. All right. Some lobbies are just total sweats. Some of them were pretty easy, but the vast majority of these lobbies were very, very, very sweaty. I think that's to be expected because it's a public test, so you're going to have all the fucking TikTokers oh, and, and your Twitch streamers and, and just the hardcore FPS psychos, so they're all going to come in to fucking test it out, all that type of shit. And all People right. want to so be I get competitive. That. I get that, but I think I also think the first week of release, full release, is going to be the same. And it will tone down a little bit, but I think this is going to be a very sweaty game. I think yeah. X Defiant is already going to be a very sweaty game, even outside of the ranked mode. All right. And that's just a. This is just the way FPS is now. And this kind of goes back, and I talked about this a little bit on the stream. It was my generation, people like me, are the reason for this. Because when we were in school, when we were younger and all that, you know, COD was at its peak, Halo was at its peak, Gears of War was at its peak, right? Probably like the three biggest fucking F, well, Gears of War isn't a FPS, but you know, you know what I mean. Three mm -hmm. biggest yeah. games like that, right? Battlefield as well was at its peak. So mm -hmm. we were all just trying to like one up each other constantly. Yep. Constantly it was trying a brag. to one up each other. Yeah, it was a brag. How many yep. nukes have you got? You're a bitch. Mm. How many perfections on Halo have you got? You're a bitch. You know, blah, 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 blah. And it was came to this situation that we were constantly trying to outperform each other and outplay each other, and we were creating sweaties, okay? Mm -hmm. We became the sweaties. So the games were looking at us going, all right, they're all fucking cracked off their head now. We've got to do yep. something, which is why I think when Call of Duty 2019 came out, the Modern Warfare reboot, it is true it did revitalize the series, but now we're looking back on it going, did it go in Fuck. the wrong fucking direction? Because now yeah. these FPS games are, even Halo Infinite, way yeah. more movement-based. Yeah. yeah. Back then, a lot of it was position-based. Winning a fight in Call of Duty was way more about your positioning, where you yeah. were. Now it's, can I jump over the dude's head, slide between his legs, bounce off the wall and snap his neck before he even realizes what's going on, okay? That's just been the progression of it. I fucking hate it. I want to go back. I can't stand the sweaty... Maybe I'm old now. <laughs> Maybe yeah, I'm getting real. into my boomer stage. <clears throat> well, Movement is good. Movement is important. But yeah. when... I wouldn't... This, is the shit, this is the shit that really made me fucking smash controllers during Warzone 1 and 2019 Club was... A lot of the fights I lost, you didn't beat me. Well, you did, but you only beat me because you ran a circles around me. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like, I, I don't I'm, like it. I don't. I think I, movement is important. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. You don't want to be totally stiff, 
like this, yeah. you know. Black Ops 2. I wouldn't but, want Black Ops 2 movement again. That is way too fucking slow. Uh, I think a good mix is literally just X to fight without bunny hopping. Where you can, you still sprint fast. There's no slide cancelling like Modern Warfare. There's no... Oh, there like, is slide could... cancelling, but it's not like Modern Warfare. Nah, it's not, it's not going to win. It's not fight. to that extent. It's yeah, it's a, a lot more if you difficult to yeah, if you slide cancel and X to find, you're going to die from it. Like, because sliding in that was heavier, way heavier. Um, yeah, no, I couldn't go Black. I Black Ops 2 was fantastic for its time, but I think, like, it's way too slow now. Like, you would, I think you would lose patience with it. I think you would get the shits with Black Ops 2 if it was the main game. Like, if a brand new game came out now, like, it's fun to go back. I do it on Xbox One. It's fun to go back and play some matches. But over time, it's just like, oh, fuck. Like you, you, the un, unlimited sprint being gone is wild. Like you going back yeah. to that, it's just like, oh shit. Um, so but there has to be a middle ground, and I think you're right. X Defiant so far is a good balance, but and this is why I'm going to get abused here. It needs to be toned down just a little bit more, in my opinion. Last oh. play test, it was toned down way too much. It was a yep. slow fucking game. Then okay. But it, I guess it's more so the bunny hopping that really fucking shits me. When someone it, jumps around the corner and they just go, woo, and oh, like you're yeah, trying to it, track them and shit, I don't know where the fuck they are, man. Dude, but, if I keep losing fights, and this is how I felt I lost majority of my fights and extra fight, was I couldn't fucking keep track of them. Okay, hmm. maybe, maybe I am just old and shit now. My washed. time has passed. I'm washed. I'm chalked, washed. you know, <laughs> washed up. My you time has passed. You piece of shit. <laughs> mm. back in my day but you know what i mean it's like yeah i i like it when a fight is a fight in these games yeah 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 and especially with the abilities i don't feel like you need fucking bunny hopping like it just you some kind of comes around fucking bunny hop now the thing is so bunny hopping used to be pretty bad in halo this is way fucking worse. Motherfuckers can literally jump like two fucking meters right. Like, holy shit. Yeah. It is ridiculous how fucking bad bunny hopping is in this game. But I, the thing is, when I was my character, my character couldn't do it. It was like the lighter characters where it was just fucking ridiculous. Like, they were just... I think it was the ones with a little less health or little, maybe... No, nah, everyone health. had the same health except for the character you played, which I think was Phantoms. They have more. Everyone they else had 100. Time. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um. Well, fucking. I don't know. It was like the smaller characters, man. They could just fucking jump so fucking far. It was insane. It was ridiculous. Like it shouldn't be like that. Um. I, I understand I, a, a little bit of jumping, but fuck that, man. I I think the bunny hopping is an issue. I would argue there's an even bigger issue with the characters, and that is fire bullets. If yep. you can't beat them, join them was my fucking extent to this. Okay. When I, that day one of playing this game, I just kept losing the fire bullets as well. Yep. Ah, oh, dude, I was Fuck kicking their asses dumb. most of the time. I would die three seconds after I killed I, them because they shit. I would argue that the fire bullets are so bad that they should completely take them out of the game and replace yep. it with something else. Did some I other said... passive ability. Did I said my trade off? I said, dude, I'll lose my extra twenty health, and if but you're gonna take them damn bullets out of the game, man. Well, <laughs> what I saw some people me. saying was take away the fire bullets and give them a better resistance to like explosions and shit. I'd be okay yeah. with that. I'd be okay. Yeah, with that would be cool. Yep, because the fire. The bullets, throw, here's the thing: the fire. They have the fire bullets, and then there's the flamethrower, which is and just drone. you're dead immediately. Yep, you just dude, it touches you, you're dead. Dude, the drone, you throw it, and it also blows up. So it does this fire thing, so you can't leave the fucking room, and it does blow up damage. So it's like, yeah. what the fuck? That that whole faction there, uh, was it Cleaners? Cleaners. Uh, yeah. They are they are way oh. too overpowered. It, And this is my problem with the hero, uh, hero shooter. Um, If you have one, if you have, like, a meta thing... If that, it, like, you know what I mean in the sense of, like, if everyone's yeah, going character. cleaners, it, it makes it so. There's no point in the hero shooter. There's no point. You can't, you yeah. can't combat. You can't really combat uh, fire bullets through skill. All The only way you can combat it is through seeing the person first, which yep. I don't like. I want 
I want it to be more skill based, right? I don't want it to be movement based. I want it to be based on positioning because that is a skill. That's yeah. finding the best place, giving yourself good cover, and then being able to actually shoot the person and kill them. That's that's what I miss in like the the old school. Yes, I think that's thank what you. A lot that's of what I was trying to have. say. Exactly. Like, th today they call it uh, breaking knees. That's what mm -hmm. the youngins call it now. Is when you just slide around them and they can't keep up and you slide past. You them want a rat? You just want a rat? That's what I'm hearing. Y'all, well, no, this no, is no, the no. other thing with that as well, Moza. Like back then, like the campers, the ratters were abused, hardcore abused, and rightfully yeah. so. Look at what happened to Wings yeah. of Redemption, man. His whole thing was about camping, and look what the COD community did to him. Yeah, right. he won a boxing match. It's a fate worse than hell. <laughs> yeah, it gets boogie, but. In exchange, we lost the campers, but we gained fucking G Fuel cracked out fucking TikTokers in exchange. And now I'm there, sitting here looking back on my past Ryan actions Rock. going, did I do the right thing? I don't there know has, anymore. Dude, there has to be there has to be a middle ground. Yeah. Like we can't go back to the days of Black Ops 2. I agree. We can't, we I think can't. the movement we, of that, uh yeah. even the it's, movement of Ghost. Ghost was the last like old COD I played yeah. uh in a while. That movement is really it's faster than Black Ops 2 by like barely, a little bit. like a, a by little a snail. Bit. <laughs> yeah. By a fucking yeah. snail. Uh, it, it's too slow. Um yeah. but do we need to sacrifice all the good elements for speed? I think well, I think I think all you have to do for X Defiant is that bunny hop. And I feel like a lot of the positioning maybe slow it down a little bit, right? I think but it's I not would too agree that the, the bunny hop needs to go slow it down to like a tad, go in there and like milli percentages turn it down, yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah. and fix yeah. the cleaners. And the gameplay wise, I think that's good. Uh, I, I, I disagree. I think the climbing. The climbing feels Cl like... Oh, yeah, the climbing. Dude, as soon as you start climbing, it's like your guy just fucking has a bag of rocks. It's like, what the it's, fuck? It's really hard to climb, Moz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I know he's and able to vaulting. sprint around. The vaulting, dude. Oh. Like, if you fall over the cover, you're dead. You're fucking you're dead. You're done. Because yeah. your man's fucking... Whoa. It's like, weird yeah, because the movement, the movement we, I would, you know, we could argue is a tad too fast. Yeah. But when it comes to climbing and vaulting, it's like, nah, dude, we're going back to the yeah. fucking doom. It's fucking yeah. do quake movement, dude. It's <laughs> what bad. What happened here? Yeah, well, y'all. Who was who was working on the climbing? What the fuck? <laughs> Maybe the one dude the net code because that doesn't seem to be fixed either as well. Yeah. All right, but now anyway, on top of all that, okay, that brings us to the next thing about it. How do we actually feel? It, uh, well, as of this recording right now, there is no release date. There is no new information about the mm. game. Our boy Mark came out and he said, like, hey, we're going for all the information we've gathered. Mozart, you said you reckon it's going to take him about a week to put out something I said, in regard to this. I said, if it's not out by the 29th, that is fucking ridiculous. What, the game or information not, from Mark? Information, information. If they don't have a release date by the 29th, like saying... Okay, games next month, thirteenth yeah. or whatever, right? It is. It is ridiculous. I should. We should probably say it is the twenty third that we're recording this on. Yeah, twenty third. Yes. Yeah. And that gives them a bit over, like, well, a bit over a week, little week, you know. Fuck yeah. Because you, you can look at the information, and if it's seriously, if you can't say your game is fucking ready between before the 29th right now. That is ridiculous. Like, oh yeah, now now it's time for someone at higher up at Ubisoft to tell them to hurry the fuck up. Like, it, it sucks because what's killed yeah. games recently is literally just forcing them right. to release it, right? But at the same time, you can't. Mark and the team cannot just keep doing these fucking things and being like, oh, yeah. we're releasing this this time at this time, and and then expecting everyone to be happy when it gets delayed stop saying she you, you have to be uh, held responsible uh, yeah you can't you can't promise people that it's, it's gonna come out it's coming out oh it didn't come out well but it will come out now and then you can't yeah. dude you're a, it's the boy who cried wolf mark yep. is literally the game dev that dude, cried release date 
it, and you know what? That really fucked um, the first day of the beta. Because on the first day of the beta, barely anyone was playing. Barely anyone was streaming it. Um, the, it was the second day when it went right up. All the big streamers. Because everyone was worried it was going to be broken. And also, it kind of, like, I think a lot of people are getting sick of the whole Mark and the team being like, oh, it's coming this quarter year. I promise. Like, you know, first yeah. quarter year. All hype, no con- like no substance. Yeah, um, he doesn't actually have anything to be like. Still, and still, after the beta, we still don't have any. Like, all we know is it kind of ran really good. There's still issues, but yeah, like, it's kind of. I fucked. think I and I think this has actually really hurt Mark's. In my opinion, I think it's it's harmed his legacy as a game dev. Hmm. Um, not terribly. I mean, he still put out modern. He still made Modern Warfare too. Like, yeah, <laughs> to be yeah, fair. He's it's still made Modern Warfare too, but yeah, yeah, but yeah. this constant like back and forth hype, 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 and then we have obviously that article that came out from Game Informer, and that and that's a big thing too. Yeah. Of you know, it looks like honestly, it, everyone involved in that story looks bad. Mark you looks mean, bad. Insider gaming, Dev, yeah, insider gaming, yeah, yeah. yeah insider game or not gaming <laughs> insider insider gaming. Um, Mark looks bad. The rest of the devs look bad. Ubisoft looks bad. It, yeah. it, it just looks like an entire fucking clusterfuck and, and, of, and uh, of an organi- like, organization. organization. And, bottom, and, yeah. and the worst thing is, we were when we first like heard last year, we were hoping that it would be different from Ubisoft. But all the same Ubisoft shit's happening again. They say a release date... Delay, release date, delay. Just that's 101 fucking Ubisoft nowadays. You know, look at Skull and Bones, look at every game that they've done. Release date, uh, delay. You know, it does like every game that they have, I swear to God, does at least three delays yeah. before it comes out. You know, third time's the charm. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Well, so obviously, they missed their really big window of opportunity to release the game, which was when um, everyone was hating on Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, the $70 USD DLC update for Modern Warfare 2 hadn't released, or maybe it had just released, and everyone was like, this is a fucking DLC update that you charge full price for, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That was their biggest opportunity to be a serious fucking competitor. Missed it by a fucking mile. Not even close anymore, man. I think at this stage, they don't need to worry about, or they shouldn't worry about release windows. They should just get it out when they fucking can, obviously, well, to a certain level this... of quality. Because I, I think what I... they've got to do is they've got to take this stance of being like, look, Rainbow Six Siege, love it or hate it, it's been here for 10 fucking years and it's not going anywhere, okay? There's always going to be a dedicated player base to Rainbow Six Siege. It's going to have its highs, yep. it's got to have its lows and everything in between. But... They need to make Siege something... Uh, sorry, not Siege. They need to make extra fights similar to Siege in that regard. I, because I this year, have... they are competing against a Black Ops. People yep. still like Black Ops games. I mean, fuck, yep. I'm kind of tempted on a Black Ops, honestly. The last, the last Black Ops game was good from what I... I liked it. Cold I liked Cold War. Now, now, the difference between Rainbow and Extra Fight, Rainbow has no competitor, really, in that genre. The slow movement, you know what I mean? It's very different More to what tactical, the first person. Yeah. Yeah, it's very different. Whereas X Defiant, they're going up against a COD. I said this to Cream. I think if they don't release before the next COD is even shown, I think they're done for. They're fucking done. Because everyone, like, realistically, like, Rainbow, what other game is like Rainbow right now? There's there's nothing, right? And closest you can get are like slower extraction shooters, like movement wise, something like a Tarkov. But yep. it, even in gameplay, it's not anywhere close. It's just the no. movement is similar, the the turning, uh, mm-hmm. stuff like that. But uh, yeah, Rainbow kind of is a this type of uh, it's often its own ocean type of game where yep. it's like, yeah, the other one's cra- everyone's in the Pacific, we're out what? here in the Atlantic by ourselves. Um, I would argue that X Defiant needs to release by mid May. Well, really, that's soon. Man. So I would argue, you obviously need to, they're going to reveal to Cold that. War. Oh, sorry, yeah, you need to do Gulf War soon. Yeah, Gulf yeah. War. You but need the, to get it out before they even put out a fucking teaser trailer. Yep, that's, because 
that's how big that game is going to be. And yep. everyone is going to like hell, people who aren't even liking COD lately are gonna check it. I may check oh, it out. Yeah, right? I'm and probably I gonna check out the Gulf War beta. It, I'll check it, out yeah. the free beta. It yeah, like it's 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 golf it's it's Treyarch. It's, it's a black ops yeah, it's a black ops and a Treyarch, but you know, the last fucking bastion of COD being and, good and, is and them. The thing, the thing is, right? What's gonna end up happening with that one is all the COD people are gonna all the zombie people are gonna be excited, and all the multiplayer people, there's gonna be more excitement for this COD than any other COD because you've got the zombie fan base who are pissed off at the modern warfare right now, and you're gonna have multiplayer people who are just like I think they are pretty happy and, right now. Uh, and Warfare you're going to have all the people who have just been playing Warzone the entire time, too. Which, yep. by the way, yeah. those numbers are up. Here's the X other Defiant, thing you got to think of. Sorry, go on. X, X Defiant has two weeks, or it's DOA. And yes, it may gain a, a, a fan base afterwards, and obviously it will have some of the fan base. I think it will be higher than skull and bones which isn't saying <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This, the people the members watching this member um advanced viewing as a bigger player base than skull and bones yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah but here's, here's the other thing with um golf war as well which is the newest black ops is as much as i don't like this as much as i think this is just dangling the keys the big rumor is they're gonna do what this cod did so you know how this cod had all the old modern warfare 2 maps Mm -hmm. They're gonna do the same thing, except with the Black Ops maps. Yeah, so you're so, getting the OG Nuke Town. You're getting yeah, firing so, range, jungle, jungle summit. Dude. Jungle so the big, the huge oh, rumor God. is COD. Uh, COD 2025 is rumored to just be a remaster Black Ops 2. And if that's yeah. true, holy fuck! Because that game sure, takes place imagine? in 2025. Yep. And that's the thing, and, and 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 I mean, if they, well, this is this this kind of like adds it up to make Black Ops Two canon to the law now. They kind of have to make it different too, as well. I totally so, forgot about that. Yeah. So for those of you who are confused, Call of Duty did a thing like Disney Star Wars, where they kind of reset everything and said it's all one Thanos, continuity. Thanos came out with <laughs> yeah. Makarov. Yeah. It's all one continuity. Like in yeah. Cold War, you see like a Zakaev and shit, and you're like, oh, the fuck on. Because like, I remember going into Modern Warfare 3, watching the cutscenes, and my big fucking speculation was Makarov is going to be part of Perseus, which is the group from Cold War, and there was mm. just no mention of it. But the rumors and some of the leaks point to that might actually be a fucking thing that they're building up well, to. Yeah, because he goes to the island kind of looking for their search or some shit with this rebirth shit, right? So yeah. it's like, oh, fuck, okay. So it is. I looking... hate this new Makarov so fucking much. Oh, I it's really all gay. It. It's uh, so gay. Maybe you people should check out the... I heard someone did a video on Makarov. I don't know. I did. I did a no, really I, good video. No, it wasn't Makarov. you. I think it was Mars. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so Number you're competing one. with that. Like, you're going to have the... Key jangling, member berries, nostalgia of the old last, Black Ops maps. This is the last COD David Wunderhaar worked on. Oh, fuck, it is too. Yeah. 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 I'll do. X Defy is fucked. Yeah, Dude, the and think part. about it too. It's a modern, sh like a semi modern, the 90s, yeah. right? Almost the 90s, within my early 2000s. Oh, yeah, it's it's still, within, uh, within Lethal's old ass age, but me and Maz are too young to remember that. But. <laughs> Look, you get, left. you get a. Here's the thing, COD players want. Remember, dude, we had the whole boots on the ground modern COD movement years ago. So yep. getting a a modern one again, people are going to be fine with that if it's good. It's Treyarch, that's great. Mm -hmm. It's dude, in a time a... period we haven't seen. We haven't mm -hmm. seen anything in the the farthest we went was the '80s because of uh the Cold War Cold stuff War. like Black yeah. Ops. Black Ops 2 even kind of drifts into the 80s a little bit in flashbacks. Uh, Cold Just War. Into the future, yeah. Um, so, so yeah, you it, it's in a new time period that we haven't gone through. It's a time yeah. period that I think a lot of people who may be playing live through, too. It, that's, mm. an, that's an interesting too, a lot, thing, too. You could have people who were veterans of the Gulf War play the game. Oh. You could also have kids of the... Like so, I think there's there's so many things going on there, and so many like little like oh okay, you're 
right, jangling the keys yep. uh, to get people excited. I, I think there, honestly, there are a couple reasons why to be excited about COD. And X mm. Defiant, there are reasons to be excited about X Defiant, but. Wait, be scared for it. Yeah. Dude, I'm more, yeah, I'm worried. Uh, the fact mm. that I had less lag playing with you guys on Aussie servers yeah. than I did North American servers. When that the happened, closest that happened. North American server to me is only three hours away. Yeah. Well, th this is the How thing the that happened. That happened. That also happened with Warzone Two for the first like week and a half as well. For some reason, they they seem most game devs seem to fuck up NA. And um, uh, oh, fuck, who was it? They were saying um, NA servers are just so packed. Like, yeah, Warzone Two did that. We no joke. The Americans joined us, right? Like all the Americans joined us, and they were fine. But as soon as we joined them, the game would be broken as fuck. It yeah, I remember fucked. that when Warzone yeah. Two first launched for Americans, it was fucked. Yep. It was dead. I, another thing about Gulf War, this is this is Treyarch's first. I, I guess it's not modern now, but this is like the closest Treyarchs have ever done to modern. Like everything that Treyarch's done has been far into the future or far into the past. This is yeah. that, that's why that's why another thing why people are super hyped up because we've seen Infinity War do modern. We've seen like um, Sledgehammer do fucking. You know, you know what's weird shit. though? It's really not. Yeah, like, it, it, that's the thing. It's about as far away, uh, like it's about as far away as the eighties. Uh, no, I way. think the, I think actually the eighties were probably a little closer to when Black Ops uh, One and Two were released, which they did dabble in the eighties, like a couple, yeah. like one mission or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like it's been about thirty years since. The Gulf War happened. Yeah, uh, a lot of time has passed, but it is the closest. Fresher like. people's, it's fresher in people's minds. Yeah, yeah, but X Defiant, they are uh, they definitely in a bit of a oh, predicament. Dude, they, man. Mark must be yeah. shitting himself because if the if I think is true what happened to the X Defiant team and they had to go work on other team of games as well, I, dude, I'm I'm willing to bet it happens. I'm willing to bet in like six months time. We hear a fucking insider game and fucking um, the thing or something where a lot of the developers had to go work on other games for a bit during it or something. Well, because, uh, remember just... recently we we talked about um, CD Projekt Red pulling people off Cyberpunk and they're supposed to still be trying to fix that game. And yep. there's only about 13 people in total, not 13 teams, 13 humans in total working on cyberpunk at this point and that's and from to, what cd project red is telling us i would argue it's probably under 10 yeah i was gonna say two of them are probably gener like uh the cleaners <laughs> yeah and four of them are women so they're on menstrual leave <laughs> so so really nothing's getting done on that game so mm -hmm. what happens when ubisoft is gearing up for assassin's creed and a new far cry and they know that those are really the big money hitters like, yes, people are going to buy Assassin's Creed and Far Cry. People are going to, it doesn't matter if they're good, they're bad, they'll buy them, dude. People bought Unity and Syndicate. People will buy a one people that is Mirage. something they're excited about, though, right? Because that's yeah. the one that's going to be in Japan. It's going to be in Imperial the, Japan. The worst thing about those games is people are holding hopes that they'll be like the older ones. So, like, Assassin's Creed, there's always going to be hopes of, or it could be like two, and it could be like Black Flag. And yeah. in this Far Cry, it's all oh, three and four, baby. It could be. There's a chance. It's got the name. It's got the name Far Cry, so there's a chance. Which it just worried. I just, oh my god. It's dude. wild to think about all that, and they're still carried by Siege. Yeah, which a lot Siege. of people fucking hate that game, dude. Yeah, you know what's even worse? The biggest... They're carried by Siege, Just Dance, and Rabbids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, they're that's the biggest that's game. what they're. But that is seriously, they are, they basically are have become like, uh, I don't know, man. They are just there. It's a really sad position the company is on us as a whole. I, but it shows you what happens when you just start pumping out formulaic uh, games, all all with that tow that fucking shitty power system, dude. <laughs> yeah, something that. That was brutal. I found 
a brutal slog in Far Cry 4, and then mm-hmm. it just got worse and worse and worse. And Dude. Worse. Oh my god, like after four, I was done with it. Like primal, like when you could there was no vehicles. I, oh, I, I, I actually like primal more because at least it was different. Like, you nah. know, I, I found primal a, a, a more enjoyable game than four. Um, really, I love four. That being said, I didn't really like primal too much. I thought it was I hated just primal. I just like being caveman going around killing stuff. Because you don't really get gate well, especially then you didn't get like a triple A game like that. So I yeah. thought it stood out in that sense. But man, dude, Ubisoft is f- capital F fucked. Yeah, this is the worst. It's so crazy because Ubisoft were almost at the tippity top. Like they were like you know, yeah. and, and they were with like, Assassin's Creed and Far Cry. I would argue they were. Imagine they were the like, top. dude, and if, if they had Mark back then. Right? Imagine if they had Mark back then and they made X Defiant then. Like, they could have actually been a COD proper competitor. Right? Isn't that insane? Was, you know it, what I mean? Back, if, if they had a got him after MW2, I think there would have been a chance. I think I think if yeah. they had a competed against Modern Warfare 3 with uh, with Mark. Oh, uh, dude, imagine if they just waited till after Ghost. They would have won. Like, right yeah. after the Ghost. Oh. Dude, it, yeah. Uh, there's no, you can't be a COD killer nowadays. It, it, nah. It's too big, dude. Advanced warfare and ghosts. it's like it's like putting a television show on on Saturday nights and saying this show is going to be the SNL killer. It's like it's been on for fifty years. It's an institution. The well, only reason if, it's going to die is because people just choose to end it. It's if not dying. Vanguard, it's if Vanguard didn't kill COD, nothing will. Oh, dude, Ghost. I'd say Ghost was worse, like, at the time, because we just had Black Ops 2. Like, Ghost was the Golden <laughs> Age killer. Yeah. You know? Ghost, uh, yeah. Ghost was, like, somebody, like, throwing up, just throwing, like, a picture of, of your, you know, I don't know, like, a picture of your dog while you're trying to jerk off, and all of a sudden it's like, oh! <laughs> the, the fuck is going on here? Yeah. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, anyway... Any final notes on this whole X Defiant situation? How you felt about the game? You know, liked it, didn't like it? Will you be playing it? All it that type of shit. Go on, Moss. I, I think it needs a campaign. It needs a face. That, that's another thing that's fucked it. There's no yes. face. Yes, There's before, no... dude. No. It is all other. Sorry, I know. I know you're trying to wrap it up, but no, no, this it's is not a, more. This shit. is a, this is a big thing. Um, mm-hmm. the fact that all the maps are like recycled basically from other games like there's a far cry map and this and there's factions from different ubisoft games it makes it feel like fucking playstation all-stars but yeah as a yeah. shooter and i yeah. i mean that as an insult i really yeah. do it the should thing be that, though, is thing. they're gonna run out of shit pretty fucking yep. quickly it's mm-hmm. all tom clancy stuff and one far cry faction yeah, it's well, like, what are they gonna well, do? To me, Wait I thought it was part, gonna right? be all like Ubisoft shit, right? So, mm-hmm. what am I gonna have assassins running out? And is their ability gonna be a fucking knife that comes out and shit? Are you gonna have Dude. like five or six different Far Cry factions? Exactly. Yeah, you're gonna and, have bosses and, crew and whatnot. Like, yeah, yeah, and they're just the same, like just different skin, really, as well. Yeah. And, uh, and 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 if you start doing like fucking Ezio and shit like that, I'm out. I'm you know sorry, what one I, I think they're gonna do? I think for sure you're gonna get a Far Cry Five one, and their passive will be the Bliss shit. Oh yeah, and it'll but work I... like a flashbang that deteriorates your health or some shit. Oh, dude. I, I, it's not. I don't. I don't like that. Again, it needs to be its own game. This is why people had a problem when they announced it as Tom Clancy's X Defiant, and people were like, "I don't fucking remember Tom Clancy putting out an X Defiant book." Yeah, and that come died. out before or after Hunt for Red October. Well, and it would have been stupid because they would have been competing with themselves. Because then yeah. now you're and, and the game's so heavily different. A lot of rainbow people would have been like, oh fuck this game straight away. Or Whereas, splinter cell people, right? Like like yeah. you're just attaching yourself to it because you have the name, the name. that sells of Tom Clancy, yeah. right? Don't that, do it. He's put out a lot of great novels. A lot of them have been turned into films and in games. Uh yeah. So, so that name does have weight, and that's what Ubisoft was trying to leverage. They were trying to leverage, especially because it looked like shit originally, right? Oh, it looked awful. So it looked I was like shit, and then you it. attached the name to it, 
And so it kind of makes it seem like you're trying to use it as a cop out. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, the game sucks, but you'll buy it because it's Tom Clancy. Yeah. Yep. Ah, oh, my God. Like, it was just, yeah, I remember seeing that first trail and being like, oh, that's dead on release. I will admit, after playing it now, I do have a little bit more high hope than just that. But <laughs> it's like we said, they're fucked because of the time they're coming out now. Yep. That's what they they fucked. Like I just they have to uh, they have to release it broken, or it's dead, which is a shame. Because you're and fucked I, either way. You've yeah. you've now been you've put yourselves in and have been put into a position. Uh, to unless uh, unless to you want to wait uh, another two years because if the rumors are true no, about Black Ops Two, I don't I then, don't think yeah. Uh, but uh, honestly, I don't think there'll be a fan base for it another two years. Yeah, I, I don't. I they can't. It has to come out. It's it's it comes out before the summer starts, or it shouldn't. It just don't have it come out at all. And they've already yeah. invested too much. My thoughts is that. is it's gonna come out in like June. It's gonna miss that deadline, and a lot of the people who would play it are probably gonna be like, whatever. I'll wait for COD, even though the game's free. That's now, the best thing that's going for it being free to play. I can't remember yeah. who it was that said this, but X Defire is only one good card away from being bodied. Yep. No, dude, this is the thing. Yep. It's literally. And, and here's the thing for the most part, I enjoyed the public test. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I had a lot. I had a lot of enjoyment. I thought movement's pretty close. Like, there, there, yes, there's, there's problems with it, but. For every problem that I had during the gameplay, I had like you know another thing where I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's just yep. my main problem is it shouldn't even be in this bad of a like. It should be perfect by this point. Oh You've spent so much time, so much money, so much manpower into to making this game. It's weird. It's, That's still it's a broken. fucking. Yeah. It's a fucking shame. Just uh, absolutely a shame that it's in. The Another thing it. that I had a problem with, so I only used two guns the entire beta because I wanted to see how long the leveling system was. I got a, the M4, right, and this little shitty pistol. Dude, by the end of the beta, and I put in a good couple of hours, right, I only got that gun to level 31. Mm -hmm. If that is the fucking level, like how slow we're leveling up and in the full game, fuck that. That is ridiculous. I know. I understand that it was going to be a bit slower than COD because it's free to play. They, you know, they always make it a bit slower to level up. But if it's that slow, that's going to kill the game in itself because um, there's like a little system, like how you. It's the old way of getting the attachments right. Like every level, you get an attachment right. So I have to get it to 51 to have all the attachments for that gun. It's going to take you like a week to get all the attachments for one gun, almost, dude. Like that. No, that's fucked. It can't be like that. Uh, the, the leveling system needs to be a little bit more balanced. I understand making it a little bit slower because you need the players playing them, right? And I understand that it's a free to play. But if, like Mark, if Mark said this himself, uh, with the skins, you got to have the skins that people buy because it's a free to play game. But you also need to have skins, whereas um, that that need to be kind of free and earned because you're gonna lose the attention of people because they're gonna say, "Oh fuck this game! I can't even earn free skins." It's the same as leveling. If the leveling's too much of a grind, people are gonna drop the game. But you can't make it too much of a grind. Hmm. If you if you make people take too long to do it, they'll be like, "Well, I got other shit to do." You yeah. wanna there oh, yeah. there is a fine line that they have to hit between having it way too quick and not quick enough. At, at, these are, these are things that can work out before the release, but man... Oh, and, this, and this doesn't even go into prestiging, leveling, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, seasons, bundles, you know, yep. special events, you know, all that type of shit, man. Like, that's just so, like... That's just up in the air. But look, we've got to start winding this bitch down. <laughs> we got to start winding this bitch down. Mozla, do you plan to fucking play it when you fucking... When it drops? Yeah, I do. I do. I still um, one last thing. They need a fucking team that's actually the cover. They really need to add in a cover. And like we said months ago, I think we said this months ago. They need to do a at least 
two campaign missions a season or something. There needs to be some sort of campaign where you add a fucking actual face to the uh, game. I, without a face, I think this game dies as well. Like a Master Chief, a Captain Price, a yep, Marcus Phoenix. A little, because, you know, they, they don't have a full campaign ready, but surely before Season 1 or Season 2, right? They could do it Season 2, Season 3. They can get, like, two missions where it's just, like, two awesome missions where you um, get this brand new fucking team that's actually the face of the game. Then you can you can also do a villain faction. So there's, boom, there's two free factions yep. for you. And it's the villains of the, the series and the, the good guys of the series, right? There needs to be something like that because it can't all be this Fortnite fucking, oh, we're all connected, Ubisoft fucking universe. It can't be like that. It's going to ruin it. Absolutely. All right. Well, with that, Cream, are you going to check it out when it drops? And what do you think your biggest concern and, I guess, biggest positive with it is? I mean, yeah, of course I'm going to check it out. I think people should. It's a free game. It's going to be free to play. Yeah, of course I'll check it out. Um, my my biggest concern is the release window. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's all the tech problems, but does it matter if you iron out the tech problems if you, I don't know, have no player base, really? Because we're in a very competitive fps market right now the most right? competitive it's ever been yeah, yep. everyone, everyone even even A4s. smaller games like the finals now have like a you know a good thirty thousand uh fan like dedicated player base so there's a lot of other options out there and so if you you need to release now because you're really losing you're losing daylight here uh, and and they've been given opportunity after opportunity. A lot of game devs, the finals game devs would kill for the opportunities that Mark and Ubisoft have been given, and yeah. they've squandered every single one, in my opinion. Yeah. Now, having said that, the game I did find, I found it was actually quite enjoyable playing. Mm. It's the closest thing I've gotten to, to the feeling I used to get when I played Black Ops like a, and Black Ops 2. This is the yep. closest thing I've had in, you know, mm-hmm. 10 years, basically. Yep. Um, and so for that, they should be commended, but it does not... The game, good gameplay does not make up for all the problems that they're having. Yep. And if it was a paid game, I would be very, very I'd hesitant to off. give them any money. I, I yep. would not be pre-ordering, not anything only reason i'm gonna play this day one is the fact that it is a free-to-play game yep mm-hmm. and that's before we even mention that it's only on the ubisoft the ubisoft shop fuck that shit this fuck we didn't even to... talk about that oh, oh yeah, that's right. fucking... it oh, needs yeah. to be on oh, yeah, the fucking the theme. System? not fixed really? not fixed it's still broken yeah we really? i had i had the ubisoft overlay die on me a couple times where you do the shift in F2 thing, and it yeah. just is like, just nope, pops, yeah. not popping up. It just flashes back out. Yeah, so they didn't fix it. I, I'm I'm kind of actually confused on how much they fixed. I'd like for them to come out and state exactly yeah. what they fixed from before. Shit. And, and the worst oh. thing about it being on the Ubisoft store is we can't even tell how many people actually played it. Because Steam always tells you how much people were on it on Steam. Yep. Right? So we don't get to see the peak time. Hidden numbers. We don't get- yeah, and I'm I'm willing to bet that day two was the peak, right? The absolute peak, just because I noticed more people streaming it and everything, right? But at the same time, I would love that. It's not as a, it's not like a fuck you to Mark. I, I don't, it's not like I want to laugh at them when they go down, right? Um, I just want to understand what what you know. It's it's speculation. Much we can use that info and like extrapolate based on other info from other games and be like, okay, the, here's uh, a rough estimate of how it's going to do. Yeah, and, and you can tell if people are actually liking the game because they're staying on it or they're playing it. They're getting on the next day. Like it's how long they're up. playing for at brief sessions of time and all that. Yeah, but or anyway, is it just a streamer getting on, then booping it up, then the streamer yeah. turns it off? No, and Moss is never going to let you finish. <laughs> Listen, You're never gonna... we're, wrapping up, we're wrapping it up here. To all the channel members, thank you very much. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And to everyone Something else different. there, and to everyone else who watches this later on in the week, 
Let us know. Do you like it? If you like it, we'll do more. We will do more. We can do all types of various topics. Um, I kind of want to go on a Spurg out fucking schizoid rant on video game adaptations. <laughs> but we'll see. If the people like it, we'll do more. Thank you very much.